this is a video I wanted to do for a while now. The reason is, I think you're all stupid. Well, that's, that's kind of rude. Let me rephrase that. I think you are flying wrong. This is how you normally build a quad, correct? You got your props up there and you got your arms under the props. This is how I built my quads. I got the motors under the arms so the fast airflow doesn't hit the arms. And I always said this makes a huge difference, at least enough to lift a GoPro. And I'm gonna prove this to you. This video will be uncut. Well, it will be in a second, but first let me explain. This switch sets as, is bound to throttle, so, so if I put on 50% throttle, we get about 360 grams. So now the prop is pushing upwards, pretty much simulating this because it's on top. This would be pushing down, breathing on the arms. That would be pushing up, breathing on the arms. 50%. 360 grams, let's say 360. Doesn't matter. We're gonna do the same test with a full LiPo. And I'm gonna do everything in one take. I'm gonna go 50% throttle like this. Then I'm going to do 100% throttle like this. Then, without doing any cuts, I'm going to flip the motor flip the prop upside down and I'm going to flip the motor running direction. After this we are gonna do exactly the same 50% test then 100% test. So we just wait for the LiPo to get full. I got some on the charge band bank and then we're gonna do this. Now on this video is going to be uncut. This LiPo is charged now. We will later have a watt meter here and everything else. So I'm going to unplug the almost empty LiPo. Yeah, shut up. I'm going to plug in a full LiPo. I'm still gonna zero the scale. And I'm going to step back because I don't want to kill myself. 100%. So, and now this will be uncut. I'm going to unsolder two wires. Yeah, you shouldn't do this, but I don't want any complaints later. That's done. I'm going to unscrew the arm. I'm going to flip the prop upside down. And I'm going to re-screw the cable get out of the way. I'm going to re-screw the motor. And the other side. Can we all agree that nothing changed besides that I flipped the motor? Yeah? Good. So, same test. I'm gonna turn the, the welding off. Okay. 50%. 100%. So, I go up now. You can already see the values, but I don't. And let's see how important this is. And one more thing. Every value is going to be calculated down to the weight of a GoPro. Since some of you enjoy flying without a GoPro, imagine having a GoPro on the quad and still flying like no GoPro. 
So let's check the data. Well, I'm now here in the edit editing room and I see the values. Uh, turns out at full punch, it's like you flying with almost three GoPros when I'm flying without one. But I expected the values to be a little bit higher. In fact, I know they are a little bit higher if I use a fully charged LiPo. But I didn't want to, you know, break the video, make it, you know, if I get another LiPo, people will say, oh, the second LiPo was way better charged. No. In this case, the second thrust test was done with a LiPo that's less full than the first thrust test. I guess if I repeat the test and do the inverted motor first, the percentage will jump up. In fact, I'm pretty sure about this because I did a cut test where it was like 5.6%. So yeah, you decide if you want to fly with three GoPros extras. Thanks for watching. I will get a watt meter in the mail in the next two or three days. So if you want to see more tests like this and get better results, just subscribe, you will see the next test. So yeah, thanks for watching and you decide if you want to fly inverted X.